Hey guys, welcome back. It's a Fox Cuba here in this week. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a Fox Cuba here. In this video, I'll be going through some tips on the 3x3 using the beginner's method. So if your aim is just to get a little fast using a beginner's method, then this is the right video for you. If you haven't learned the beginner's method, then the link to the video is in the description below. With that being said, let's get into our first tip. So, if you have a middle piece stuck in the middle layer like this, then what I thought in the beginner's method was to bring it down, away and up. But in this case, you don't have to do it that way, but then you're gonna see which way the white sticker could move. So if you move it this way, it becomes part of the cross, but if you move it this way, it does not, it's flipped. So what I'm gonna do is to bring its location here, so the red should go here, so we're gonna bring its location here, like this, bring this up easily, and then bring this back. So we have another similar case here like this, we're gonna see how it can become part of the cross by doing this move. So this way, it becomes part of the cross, by doing this way, it does not. So what I'm gonna do is to bring its location here. So the blue should go here. So we're gonna bring the location here, like this. Bring this up easily, and bring back the cross. So guys, if you have a flip edge on the bottom layer like this, what I thought in the beginner's method was to bring this to the top, bring this to the side, and then bring its location here up and then bring it back. So that's a better way of doing it. So instead of bringing this to the top layer, we're gonna bring this to the side straight away. Like this. And then we're gonna solve it as usual. So when solving the corners in the first layer, what you normally do is you repeat the form of either one, three or four times. So the worst case scenario is when you have a flip piece like this on the bottom layer. So for this, what do you do is you do four moves in the beginner's method. So there's a trick where you can save moves by doing this. So the first thing you want to do is to bring the corner out by doing this move. Bring this out like this, double rotate, down. So this brings out the corner and then you're gonna insert it as usual. So here's a similar example if you have it on your left, what you're gonna do is to bring the left side up, double rotate and down and then insert the corner as usual. So here's another same case where the white is facing you. What you'll do is you'll do the four moves two times. One, two. This insert the piece in place. So if you get it on your left, you're gonna repeat the left hand move twice. One, two. And insert the piece. So next thing is when you're solving the corners and you might come across the soft edges like this. So in this case, what you want to do is you don't want to simply insert the corner like this because this will bring out the edge and you have to solve it again. So there's a better trick in solving this when you have a solve edge piece here like this and then you have the white sticker facing the sides. The side I meant is these sides. So what you're going to do is to hold it on your right, make sure the white sticker is facing you. And then what you're going to do is to bring this over here with a double top rotation. One, two. Once it's there, you're going to repeat the form of one time. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then bring back the corner here and then use the form of again to insert the corners. Just like that. So another case if you have it on your left, what you're gonna do is to hold it on your left with the white sticker facing you and then bring it over here. 1, 2. And then you're gonna do the form of 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you're gonna bring back the corner like this and then you're gonna insert the corner. One, two, three. So this trick does not only save move but also save time. So here's another soft edge case but with the white sticker facing up. So what you're gonna do for this is there's no tricks and tips but then you're gonna do it as fast as you could. So you're gonna do the form of three times. One, two, three. If you do it faster, it's solved. So the worst thing you might get is when you have a flip edge piece in the correct position like this. So for this, you want to insert the corner and then flip the edge at the same time. For this, you're gonna hold the white sticker facing you and then if it's on your right, what you're gonna do is to bring it to your left, like this. Next, you're gonna repeat the form of we learned in the beginner's method one time. Four. Next, bring back the corner here like this. And then you're gonna do a form of but with a slightly different touch. So move the top with your right, right side up, move the top with your left twice, and right side down. 
So that's the only changes where you have to do the top move twice for your left hand. And then you're gonna insert the corners. So what if the white stick is on your left, you're gonna move it to your right like this. And then you're gonna do the four move. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna bring back the corner here. And then you're gonna do the four move with the right top move twice. One, two, right top move twice, three, four. And then you're gonna insert the corners as usual. So once the corners and edges are done, what you're gonna do is to head on to the last layer and we're gonna do the yellow cross. So for this, if you get a bar like this, a vertical or horizontal bar, you're gonna hold the vertical bar horizontally like this. And then we're gonna do a move. So we're gonna do a move which is as similar as the form of but backwards. So front clockwise, reverse form of one, two, three, four, undo the front move. So by doing this, you save move. So this way you don't have to repeat the form of twice to solve the cross. So if you get a case like L shape like this, this is just a repetition of the form of we learned in the beginners method. So do the front move clockwise, regular form of anti-clockwise. So this solves the cross. So when you're done with the cross, the next step is to arrange the edges to the centers. So here we have these edges matching the centers opposite to each other like this. So for this, what you usually do is you do the normal sequence of move and then you locate them matching to the centers next to each other and then you place them at the back and then you will do the normal sequence again to solve the edges. But there's a faster way of doing it. So instead of doing it and checking the edges all the time, you can do this. So do the normal sequence of move. And then what you'll do is to do the top rotation, right rotation, and then do it again. So this way you don't have to check where the edges are going. You can just do this and then the edges and centers will be solved. So the next step after you have arranged the edges is the arranging the corners. So here we have this uh, soft corner here like this. So it necessarily don't have to be flipped, but we are lucky to have it flipped here. And then you'll be doing this uh, sequence of move where it will arrange these three corners in place. So what you usually do is depending on situation, you'll do it once or twice to arrange the corners in place. So the first thing you have to do is to identify the color here. We have to look at the front left corner and then determine the color. And then we have to compare with this color here. So if any of this color is present here, and then we have to do only one time for example here we have green so green is here so we are only going to do one time so let's do it so all the corners are now arranged in place so here's another example so you're going to check the colors here blue and red so here we don't have blue or red so we're going to do it twice so in the beginners method we hold the correct solve piece on the front right but then if you have to do it twice we are going to hold it on our front left like this front left front right front left so the next step is to do it on the right side the same method we used on the left hand now we're going to use it on our right hand so follow the move right side up top left left side up top right right side down top left left side down top right so by doing this you only have to do it once and you can save time and see now all the corners are arranged after this step is to flip the corners so flipping corners is very easy i'm not going to repeat much so for this step you have to know the backward sequence of uh, form of and the regular form of so if the yellow is facing you, you are going to do the regular form of and if the yellow is facing to the side, you are going to do the backward form of. So we have an example here. The whole yellow is facing us, regular form of. Solve. Bring in the corner. This corner is solved. Bring in next corner. The yellow is facing to the side and we have to do the regular form of but the backward move. Solve. And then here we go. So the last step 
is to use some finger tricks which can help you in rotating the bottom layer without using your right hand to move the bottom layer so for this uh, we can do this so place your three fingers at the back like this with the top two fingers holding the top layer and then your ring finger touching the bottom layer like this next you're going to practice to move the bottom layer with your ring finger like this practice this until you have mastered it and then now we're going to try with the finger tricks and solve the bottom layer so now we're going to use the combination of reverse move regular form move, and then this finger trick here so yellow is facing to the side which means reverse form move move the bottom like this yellow is facing us regular form move again yellow is facing to the side backward form move and the last one again with your finger like this and then you're going to repeat the move yellow is facing us normal form of so there you go you have done your cube so after this tip you have to be able to solve the cube much faster so the last tip i would like to give is that um, get a decent cube you don't have to go and get the high-end cubes out there there are nice cheap cubes available in these uh, stores uh, you can get them from jpoli if you're from malaysia and then if you're from the us you can get it from the cubicles or speed cube shop australia you can get it from daily puzzles and all these things so I'll provide the link in the description so if you like this video give a like and subscribe thanks guys peace